Today we are joined by Felicia Spence. Now Felicia is with Hilton Head Health. They are our coastal experts for health and wellness. Tell us a little bit about Hilton Head Health. Hilton Head Health is a weight loss resort. We've been doing it for 40 years and we recently were named the number one weight loss resort in the country. Great, so now we're into holiday season and we know that that is the time when healthy eating habits can tend to just go downhill. So let's talk about the first holiday coming up, which is Halloween. How can we have a healthier Halloween? I know, Halloween is all about candy, so it can be a little challenging for it to be a healthy holiday. But uh, the parties can be all about the activities. So for example, you can carve pumpkins. And what's great about car carving pumpkins is that you can take the seeds from it and make healthy Fit Bites. That's what we call healthy snacks. So you can make nice, healthy uh, pumpkin seed snacks. Mm -hmm. Now there are some alternatives that you have to suggest to the traditional kinds of candy. So tell us about that. Right, so traditional candy, kids are going to get it, it's going to be a holiday full of candy, but the idea here is to focus more on maybe whole foods. So candies that are full of peanuts or dark chocolate that's going to give you the antioxidants, or maybe licorice. Uh, also the candies that are one and done sizes, so the fun size candies are going to work a little bit better than the full size. Mm -hmm. So definitely think about the portion control and the type of foods that go into the candy. Mm -hmm. And for me as the mother or the grandmother, you had a great idea about how to sort to hide that candy out of sight. Yeah, grab a paper bag, throw the extra candy in there, and then put it out of sight, out of mind. Put it in your cupboards, in your garage. You won't see it, so you'll have a better chance of not eating it. So Felicia, what are some healthy alternatives to giving candy? Yeah, kids are going to get a lot of candy, so I think giving out little trinkets is a good idea. So having pencils or tattoos, we have cups, we have little playthings. I mean, anything that's other than candy and small, I think kids are going to appreciate and have a lot of fun with. Now there are some candies that are better than others. Right, so you want to think about the sugar and the fat content in candies. So you want a lower sugar candy. For, for example, the recommendation for sugar is six teaspoons a day for for uh, girls. Uh, you can get six teaspoons of sugar in just eight pieces of candy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So thinking about the portion size of the candy. Also thinking low fat, so things like Twizzlers, um, small dum-dums, so smaller size candies is a great option. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Now, we all come home with all this extra candy, so what are the suggestions of what to do with all the leftovers? Yeah, it's a good idea just to sort through them first and allow the kid to participate in that. So they can pick out their, their favorite candies and set those aside. All the rest of the candy, think about gathering it up and donating it, donating it to your local dentist. A lot of the times, they'll send it overseas to our troops. So so donating it to dentist office, donating it to homeless shelters, um, those types of things you can get the candy out of the house and maybe let others enjoy Halloween. Well thank you Felicia, those are some really good tips for helping to manage our eating habits during the holiday season with this first holiday coming up of Halloween. If you have questions for Hilton Head Health or any of our other coastal experts, go to WSAV.com, click on Coastal Experts and submit your questions.